Jordanian special operations forces deal with a suspected chemical weapons threat. In another incident, special forces carry out an attack to free hostages. Both scenarios are played out at the special operations forces exhibition Sofix in Jordan's capital Amman, where fighting terrorism is highlighted as a global priority. We are constant, constantly developing and implementing preventive measures that can effectively counter and respond to emerging threats and unpredictable international security environment. Our efforts aim to ensure national security readiness and bring peace of mind to our citizens and neighbors. It's one of the largest exhibitions of its kind in the world. It's where you'll see the latest cutting-edge special operations technologies and homeland security equipment. The exhibition aims to improve the capabilities of special operations forces around the world and allow participants to share their defense tactics and techniques. With threats and conflicts engulfing the region, all stable countries want to feel they are ready and able to tackle any unexpected scenarios. These are advanced Turkish-made rockets. The company that makes them says friendly countries buy 40% of its output and demand is only rising. In the region, we need some, um, peace. If you need peace, you should have a strong army. This is not for fighting. This is for peace. The exhibition is also where many weapons deals are signed. The gathering is beneficial to Jordan, which is emerging as a leader in armoring vehicles and adapting them to suit harsh environments. And it's also useful to some of the top armies of the world. We see this as a part of an opportunity to promote cooperation, collaboration, uh, especially in key parts of the world where the mission may call for uh, coordinated special operations activities. The exhibition is seen as a show of power in a region that's facing more turmoil than ever. But the modern capabilities seen here still don't appear to be helpful in improving security and stability in this region. Nisreen al-Shamayli al-Jazeera, Amman.